Hey everybody, Landon McCluskey with Zenata Consulting here, bringing you a quick tip about multi-select lookup fields within Zoho CRM, both innate and custom. In the video, you'll see a couple of ways you can adjust the results that pop up when you go to make your selections for the field. If you like this video or find it useful, even if you don't, feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel and head over to clubzanata.com where you can ask questions about anything Zoho related. Your questions may even be featured on our bi-weekly show, Azaz, Ask Zanata Anything About Zoho. Without further ado, here's the tip. Within Zoho CRM, when you're on a module and you have a multi-select lookup, such as choosing an item on a quote or sales order, it can be done even here. Or if you're on a different module and it's a custom multi-select lookup field, what I'm showing you today is that when you go to the search dialog, generally you have whatever uh, columns are here. In order to sort them, yeah, you can sort by product name or you can sort by whatever's here. Maybe you want the most recent, but how do you find the top five or the top 10 that you always want, right? How do you see the most sold products if you want those right at the top? I've created on the products module a field called product rank. I think I've also created one that's just a checkbox that's top products used. I can add those here. We'll add most used products and product rank. And then when we take a look, we can sort and have simply the most used products right at the top. In addition to that checkbox for most used products, we've got product rank here. So we can sort them by descending where our lowest ranked or highest number is here at the top. Now, here's a quick problem. When you sort by ascending to have the number one at the top, any blank values are going to be there. So if you have a drop down or anything like that, you may want to have a placeholder value like not ranked or something like that in there. You can also create functions that will automatically rank these based on the number sold, any criteria that you want. So you don't have to go in and select, you know, uh, number one, number two, number three. You just put it in there. And then on this list, that's how it's sorted. So again, here sending, but when you select that, your most used products are going to be right at the top. Now that is on the products module in context here. I've created another lookup for. Uh, where's it at? Super cool people, right? So you go in here, you see the list, right? But it's only got that one, that one column. Now this does not have the button to add columns. So what we need to do is actually go to the super cool people module and change the columns that are viewed because columns are shown here are the ones you're going to see within this list here. We're just going to add the columns for coolness rank and uh, coolest people. The coolest people is just a checkbox. If they're the coolest coolness rank is, you know, one to whatever. So we're going to go ahead and save that. And then we are going to refresh the page on the contact. When we go to select that, we'll just want to choose probably the, maybe the second coolest person or something like that. So we go to super cool people. Now we see the coolness rank and the coolest people you can sort by that. It may not apply in this situation because I'm pretty cool, but you get the picture. So there you have it. A good way to sort your results, rank, checkbox, whatever it may be when you're using multi-select lookup fields. I'm also going to post the accompanying code share over to Club Zanata so you can see how to use Deluge code to rank your products based on the total volume sold and the total number of orders they've been added on which can also help you sort these results. I hope you enjoyed the video. Again, don't forget to like the video, share it, subscribe to our YouTube channel, or head over to club.zanana.com. I'm Landon McCluskey from Zanana Consulting. Thanks for watching.